I know getting through this chapter probably wasn't the most fun you have had recently, but understanding all those types of wires and cabling along with their wiring standards and the right connectors to use with them plus where to place them is an integral part of having a solid foundational understanding of the things that make a great network run quickly and reliably. Mark my Mark my words if anyone asks you at the interview to distinguish between a crossover and a rolled over cable and if you're able to answer those quickly I am damn sure that they will hire you because most of the students ignore this section because these questions or these technical constraints are not applicable in day to day life but a real network student must know all the specifications it's critical for you to grasp the basics of networking having the facts about how a good network is designed and implemented and what goes on into that process will make you an effective and efficient technician and maybe some day a highly paid system administrator now what you need to remember understand the various types of cables used in today's networks coaxial other than cable modems is rarely used but twisted pair and fiber optic cables are very common in today's networks then understand the various types of ends that are used on each type of cable well coax uses bnc twisted pair uses rj11 for voice and rj45 for data and fiber uses various ends depending on its use Describe the various types of media converters that are available. These include single mode fiber to ethernet, multi mode fiber to ethernet, fiber to coaxial and single mode to multi mode fiber. Understand what a T568A to T568 cable is and understand what a T568A to T568B cable is. Well This was all for this section. In the next section we are going to cover the different ethernet specifications. So stay tuned for the next section. Well again I would like to remind you that if you are really enjoying this course I would like you to urge to please write a review for our course and please share your feedback. Now the benefit of writing a review or leaving a rating is that we will get to know about your experience and we can add a few things to our course. We are also planning to add a complete Cisco packet trainer course if you would like. So make sure you write a review for this course. I will see you in the next section.